Hello everyone, my name is Dora, aka Fuchsia Soul. Welcome to my second update of Deck of Panning. This is such a fun project that was developed by the lovely Emily of Emily and Max. If this is your first time watching one of these videos, then I would recommend that you check out the link in the description box below and, um, and watch Emily's intro and how-to video that explains all the rules of the game and also tells you what you need to do in case you wanted to start and hop on this yourself. So I don't want to get into the rules too much. I think it's just one of those things that, yeah, it's a fun game. And if you just watch it, I think everything is pretty straightforward. Spoiler, I'm not going to tell you how many, but I will be pulling some new prompts this time in this update. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a modern mystic and I'm a mama. So um, if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to be pulling one or two tarot cards for the collective. So that means for anyone who is involved in the deck of panning project themselves, either here on YouTube or maybe on Instagram, or you're doing it in your own time, or you're just a fan and you enjoy watching them. So the three of clubs I pulled in the intro, which I did on Instagram. And the prompt at the time was cream. So for that, I picked a Maybelline cream eyeshadow. Um, I don't remember the exact name. It's something like tattoo 24 hour long lasting. And my goal was to hit pan or hit jar. And yay, I have hit pan in this. I'm super pleased. Um, as soon as I did that, I think I used it one more time and then I just put it to the side. I didn't want to focus it focus on it anymore. Okay, so that's one right there. Then the second one, which I rolled in in my first update, was for the Nine of Diamonds. And at the time, that was the prompt was out of control category. You'll find in a moment that I pulled this card twice. Um, but Emily shuffles the game board, which means the prompt changes every month. And not just that, the prompts from like numbers two through to 10 for each of the four suits, they get shuffled. So there's, that's 36, right? But um, the pool of prompts is bigger than 36, which means some prompts might get taken out and paused altogether. Anyway. So yeah, for that time, the nine of diamonds was out of control category and I picked um, something for my lip products and I chose my MAC lip liner, lip pencil, Pro Long Wear in the shade High Energy. And my goal was to use this 20 times. This is what it looks like and here's a swatch of it. Right here, so very red, matte, beautiful um, lip liner. I really enjoy wearing this. Uh, with a bright red lip. I think I only really did that once out of those 20 times. The remaining 19 times I just wore it with like a um, lip balm or slightly tinted lip balm. Um, yeah, and I kind of like dulled it down. So I didn't even, even though I used it 20 times, I didn't even sharpen it. I'm all right with that. Um, I didn't go over the goal. Um, as well because um, I then just like switched to another lip product that I was focusing on in my rolling project pan, I believe, yeah. The next item was for the four of clubs and that came in in my previous update as well and the prompt was multi-purpose and I picked another pencil and this is the uh, MUA Makeup Academy Lip Liner in the shade Glam. I ended up using it in my lower lash line and that's what I'm wearing there today. I mixed it in with an eyeshadow. Um, yeah, just to give you a swatch of it, it's quite a, a light purple. Um, although it probably looks quite dark on my hand there, if you only use it without any eyeshadow, I find it too pinkish. There was another card that I pulled in in my previous update and that was the Ten of Clubs and the prompt for that was blush and I chose a bronzer slash blush because I don't really use bronzer. I picked the Sizzly blush here in the shade Sun Glow and the goal on this was to use it 15 times um, and I have used it including today nine times. Um, 
So this one will be staying in. I think I'm pretty certain I'm going to be able to roll that out next month with the next update. Um, the reason I didn't hit my target on this was because I've been working on other blushes as well. So I had to like make some priorities. So yeah, this is staying, but I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's a beautiful blush and I think it goes a long way. It's very, very old. It's one of my more vintage items. Um, but yeah, I'm happy it's here and it's gonna get some more love. And then my fifth and final item also was for the prompt Nine of Diamonds, but because this was from the intro, the prompt was different. And at that time it was social media pics. Now I ended up showing, I think six palettes to my makeup Instagram stories, um, to my Instagram stories from my makeup account. And what everyone picked was the Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation palette. Here it is. For some insane reason, I decided that the goal was to hit two bands, um, which you can see has not been such a successful goal for me so far. Um, I have used this shade Night Sky four times across the last month and um, I have today at least just for my absolute lack of, I don't know, trying to like get anywhere with this. I have tried to like use as many shades as possible, which for me is four across my entire face. So today I am wearing Harp uh, across my lid and then Venus on the outer corner and then Mercury combined with the, the, you know, the purple eyeliner here at the bottom of my lash line. And then I also used Celestial as a highlighter. And I have to say, I'm quite happy with this. Like, I think there's something about using this Venus shade and gold together, like pink and gold. Oh my God, like, yes, please. I need more of that. But having said that, I am silently, fingers crossed, hoping for a veto at some point, um, which would mean that I could just take one item out of this project and roll in a new one without hitting the goal. <laughs> okay, so here's the fun part. So yeah, if you were following counting, um, I'm going to be rolling in three new prompts and three new products. These cards are all going back into my deck. Um, there's one joker in there, which I hope I'm not going to get, but um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and pick a card so you guys can see what I get before I can. So let me pick three out. That's one. Okay. Uh, that's the Queen of Spades. It's D for Dama. I've got a gem uh, deck here. All right. Uh, let me shuffle again, just in case, you know, I saw something. Let's be all fair and square. I'm going to cut the deck as well. And... Where am I going to go? This one. Okay, that's a Jack of... Clubs. B stands for booba. That's the German word for jacks uh, or jack, which actually means like it's like a really old fashioned word for boy. No, you know. And dama is like dame, right? So, yeah. Okay, third one. Cut the cards. Ten of diamonds. Is that the veto? No, I don't think so. Okay. Right. Um, let's see what they mean. <laughs> Ten of diamonds, A to Z brand. <gasps> okay. I, for a makeup lover, makeup panner, I have not got a big makeup collection. I'm trying to reduce so 
I'm not even sure that I've got a brand starting with every single letter, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try. I'm sure it's gonna work out. Um, the Jack of Clubs, which is blackjack, random color generator. Wow. Okay, this is turning into some kind of long update. And then a black queen is represent another project pan. I'm gonna get the random color generator going and I'm gonna get the A to Z generator going and then I'm gonna be back and then I'm gonna go again and find my products. Okay, I'm just gonna click on it live so you can see what I'm doing. And this is some kind of purple fuchsia type purple um it's very hard to see because obviously the lighting in here is mad um yeah i would say that's like a fuchsia type purple i'm gonna work on that oh i've got an idea for that one all right um a random letter generator i can just click on here and eh, W, what? Okay, I don't know how to do that. And it's a brand starting with W. Okay, be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I've got items for these three prompts. Um, and technically none of them are makeup which is odd because I do remember myself saying in the last update that I only wanted to focus on makeup. Sorry, what the fuck can I speak? Oh my God. Okay, so I remember hearing myself say in the previous update that I only wanted to focus on makeup, yet here we are. That's gone out the window. Okay, focus, Dora. A to Z brand for the beautiful letter W. <laughs> I don't have any makeup brands starting with the letter W. So I found the beautiful brand Vileda. Um, you might be more familiar with it under the name Walida. Um, but yeah, this is this is an Austrian brand, so I think you know my German accent can really <laughs> come out strong here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, this is a Sanddorn Pflegeöl. So it's a body oil that you can use for massage or, you know, after a bath, that kind of thing. In And Sanddorn means sea buckthorn. Um, you can see where it's at, sort of. And maybe you can see where I've marked it. The line, it's beautiful here with the ring light, isn't it? Um, the line is literally just under this little nail polish dot that I just put on there. Um, yeah, goal is gonna be to finish it. Um, it's 100 mils and there's like, mm, probably over two thirds in there, I would say. So maybe there's about 70 mils in there. Um, yeah, I think I should use it because looking at the expiry date, it should have been in the bin already, but I smelled it. It smells fantastic. It still smells really good. It's not gone off. Um, you know, when like oils go really rancid, so gross. But yeah, this is still really good. And it's a good reminder that I should bloody use it before it goes off. Um, yeah, okay. Happy to report back. Do I foresee myself hitting this target over the next month for my next update? I don't know. I mean, I do put on body lotion every time, like almost every time after I've showered. Sometimes I'm just in such a rush, I haven't got the time. Um, but yeah, I think I can work with that. And what's nice about putting oil on after you've bathed or showered is that you don't even have to dry yourself. So yay, lazy me, this is good. Right, and then for the Queen of Spades, uh, represent another project pan. Um, there is the Partners in Cream project pan that I have not actually ever watched, 
but I just hear, um, I just see and hear people talk about that a lot. I will link the creators in the description bo box because I have no freaking clue. But here we are, I've chosen some creams and these are all sort of, yeah, they're all Samo products from Abon, all seven of them. Uh, there's like an age well enriching eye cream and an intense repairing night cream with 2% Bacuccio. Um, you can't see any of that, hold on. This one, so they're really, really tiny. They've got 0.1 fluid ounces or three milliliters in there. Um, and yeah, this one, as you can see, I've already like almost, I've done really good progress through this little tiny one. But yeah, what else is there? Silky Cleanser, another one with vegan surf. Oh, I better not pronounce any of that. So yeah, Silky Cleanser, I've got two of those and then a refreshing toning mist with vitamin B and then a collagen nurturing serum and another moisture rec restoring cream. I had to already chuck one of these because I tried to use it and it had gone off. Um, and because Abon things are just so precious to me, I kind of don't want to waste it. So my goal is going to be to finish four of them and then I can wait yeah, I can hold back on three of them um, and then take them on travels with me when I go to Spain in the summer. Um, yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to try bloody hard to hit that goal for the next update in April, but uh, we shall see. My final new product from the random color generator and the shade I had was this kind of future purpley pink shade um, is this nail polish here. Um, this is not models own. I have frankened this and cocktailed it myself. It's my absolute favorite color in the entire world. This sort of pink purpley thing. So um, yeah, my goal is gonna be to use this three times. Um, I'm panning more nail polish. I'm panning more purple nail polish in my rolling project pan. Three uses on this one. Um, fingers crossed I'm gonna be able to do that for the next update. And that's it. There'll be one definite rollout. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, let's pull some tarot cards. Um, if you're not into tarot, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my update. Uh, please consider subscribing, liking um, this video, also leaving me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, are you participating in this project? What other project pans are you participating in? I would love to follow you along on your journey or just come and say hi. Um, yeah, so, all right. Off you go. And now all you crazy mystic people, now that that's just us, let me draw a card for us. So this is for the collective of all the deck of panning, lovely, lovely deck of panning babes who are taking part in this um, and watching it. And I just want to give us, oh, we've had, okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. The Eight of Pentacles just came out and I mean, could it be any more literal? Um, this person here is literally painting and they've, what have they got in their hand? A brush and a palette. Pentacles traditionally stand for like finances. The way I read tarot, for me it's anything kind of like earth related, body related, physical realm, that kind of thing. And this card really represents like craftsmanship, grit, creativity, hustle. Like it's really like sticking with your art and your creativity and doing something every single day or as often as possible and you know little by little just like panning using that as a metaphor you know you're only gonna hit pan in a shade if you're continuously working on it you're not gonna hit it the first time so i think the idea behind this is like enjoy the creative creativity the creative process keep plowing through it, we're gonna get there. It's just all about that accumulative 
process of the big goal at the end. Um, yeah, and then that like over time element, right? Where you can then look back and see the progress. Okay, so maybe that means something for you. One more, one more. One more for the month of March and April. Okay, that's the Ace of Wands, one of my favorite cards. This is like, I mean, it looks like a magic wand. It also, I think it always reminds me of a matchstick. So this is about that spark that you get when you're like lighting a match or you have a new idea or you're starting a new project and you're going for something, like this new beginning. So this is a time for all of us to like have new beginnings and to really like go with that creative energy and that spark in us. Maybe there's something that you wanna, um, I don't know, birth into the world, metaphorically speaking, um, then this is your sign to get your butt into gear and just go for it, like honestly. Like I know it is scary. It's scary AF <laughs> to start something new when you're not feeling comfortable in it. Like I know what I'm talking about. You can watch all my really, really old videos from like only like a month or two ago. I think I haven't even had this channel for that much longer. I have like, full disclosure, I have OCD and I have anxiety disorder. So I get like massively into my head um, and out of my body when I'm in a brand new situation. And um, it's nerves and it's anxiety, you know, and it's, it's also absolutely natural and human. And you know what? The only way to do something is to just go through it and to actually just yeah, you can only go through it. The only way you're gonna get rid of that and for it to become more natural to you is to just actually practice, practice, practice and start. So start and try not to judge yourself and just go for it. That's my bit of advice for you. So yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you now and I hope that you're having a wicked day and a wicked month and uh, check out my other stuff. Oh yeah. If you're into tarot, I've got um, my Makeup Akana videos. I haven't updated them in a while, but there's a playlist that I'm gonna link in the description box. And if you're just generally into self-care and stuff like that, do follow my main account on Instagram, especially if you're a mother or a parent. Um, there's some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, some stuff that I'll be launching and some free stuff coming out as well. So yeah, anyway, just connect, check out my stuff um, and let me know how you're doing. And yeah, that's it. Sending you so much love, bye bye.